All right, let's take a look at question number two. It's also a checklist question, so we'll just focus on this one question for this video. Suppose that A, B, C, and D, E, F are congruent. So for those who I have, we know that I like to draw pictures because it helps me stay focused. And we know that A is congruent to D, B is congruent to E, and C is congruent to F because of the way that the letters were ordered. Um, a, B, C is the image of D, E, F. Oh, and this is could be true, not definitely true. A, B, C is the image of D, E, F after a reflection on line M. Well, that could be true because, again, as I talked about in a previous video, reflection maintains size, shape, and angle are all congruent. So that could be true. Um, ABC is the image after translation of one unit, so that's true, but then a dilation of five-eighths. That's not true, simply because dilation changes the size. DEF is the image of ABC after a rotation of 80 and a translation of two. That could be true, because rotations and translations preserve size and shape. DEF is the image after reflection and then a dilation. Here's this word dilation again. We know it can't be that one. Um, ABC is the image after a translation. See, this is tricky. You see the three-fourths and you're like, oh, it's a dilation. But it's three-fourths of a unit. And here's the reflection. Because of the word translation and reflection, again, size and shape is preserved. So that's why we know it is also choice B. So it's A, C, and E. 